Hi everybody, welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I'm going to read you a story tonight about Miss Dorothy's favorite animal. I've told you before, my favorite animal is a pig. And for a long, long time, I really wanted to have a pet pig. I never got one, but I always wanted to have a pet pig. But now I found a book about somebody who did get one. And this book is called A Piglet named Mercy. A piglet named Mercy. A piglet is a baby pig and that's what Miss Dorothy wishes she had. But I never got one. But in this book, a piglet shows up at somebody's door and they have to decide whether they're going to keep it or not. I wonder if they do. If not, maybe they can give it to me. We're going to have to get into this book and find out if they want to keep this little piglet that shows up at their door. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. A Piglet Named Mercy, written by Kate DiCamillo, illustrated by Chris Van Dusen. Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson lived in a house on Decawoo Drive. Decawoo Drive was an ordinary street in an ordinary town. Look, there he is mowing the lawn and she's sweeping the porch, just doing what they do. And Mr. and Mrs. Watson were ordinary people who did ordinary things in ordinary ways, like trimming the hedges, vacuuming the house, and washing the car, just doing their chores on a regular day. One day, Mrs. Watson said to Mr. Watson, I wonder if we weren't just the tiniest bit too predictable. Predictable? Us, said Mr. Watson. Surely not. It's just that sometimes I wish something different would happen. What could she mean? Said Mrs. Watson. Things are just fine as they are, said Mr. Watson. But then something different did happen. Look, a piggy flew off a piggy truck. Someone very small and not at all ordinary found her way to the Watson's house on Deckerwood Drive. Look at the piggy walking up to the house. Mr. Watson made the discovery when he opened the door for the morning paper. Mrs. Watson, he called, come see. Oh, the little dear, said Mrs. Watson. Oink, said the piglet. I think she's hungry, said Mr. Watson. Look at her laying there so cute. Is that a pig? said Eugenia Lincoln. Eugenia Lincoln lived next door and she did not approve of surprises or of pigs. It is, said Mrs. Watson. Can you believe our luck? Don't be ridiculous, said Eugenia Lincoln. A pig is not lucky at all. Hmm, she doesn't seem like a very happy neighbor. Do you think perhaps the piglet would like a bottle of warm milk? said Baby Lincoln. Baby was Eugenia's younger sister, and she was fond of surprises and piglets. Mr. Watson scratched his head. A bottle of milk? I don't know. This is all so unpredictable. Leave it to me, said Baby Lincoln. Oink, said the piglet again. Mrs. Watson picked up the piglet and took her inside. She wrapped her in a blanket. Have you ever seen anyone so darling, she said. Never, said Mr. Watson. Look, they really, really do love the little piglet. Here is the warm milk, said Baby Lincoln. I have it right here, Eugenia said. This is absurd. The piglet did not think it was absurd at all. She drank the entire bottle. Look at that. She does like the milk. And then she burped, burp, and oinked, oink, and went looking for more. Uh-oh, she's off to find something. Oh my goodness, said Mr. Watson. Watch out, said Eugenia. She seems to like toast very much, said Baby. Oh, the darling, darling thing, said Mrs. Watson. Look, she was just hungry and wanted some toast. Mr. Watson, said Mrs. Watson, perhaps you would like to hold her for a bit. Certainly, said Mr. Watson. He took the piglet in his arms. He rocked her. 
He hummed. How extraordinary, said Mr. Watson. She is per sign wonder. Hmm, I think Mr. Watson's really starting to love her. This piglet is a wish come true, said Mrs. Watson. What a mercy she is, said Baby. There you go, said Mr. Watson. We will call her Mercy. She is not a mercy, said Eugenia. She is a pig. Oink, oink, said the piglet. You cannot name a pig Mercy, shouted Eugenia as she stomped out the door. But they did name her Mercy. She was entirely unpredictable. She was not at all ordinary. And she was very, very loved. They did keep the piglet. They loved the piglet. You know, that was so funny because the mom was just saying how she wished something exciting would happen. And then the piglet shows up at their door. And that's pretty exciting. And then they give it some milk. And then it goes after more food. And they realize, you know what? This piglet was meant to be ours. And they kept him. And it's going to be their little baby piglet. They're so lucky they get to have a piglet. A piglet named Mercy. That was a fun book. Hmm. I wonder if I would keep a piglet if it showed up on my door. I know that I would want to, but you never know. But we're not going to know tonight because tonight it's time for all of my little piglets to get into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. If a piglet shows up on your doorstep tomorrow, why don't you give Miss Dorothy a call? Maybe I would want the piglet, but you'd probably want it too, because piglets are awfully cute little animals. I still think maybe one day, maybe I'll get a piglet for a pet. I don't know, but it's not going to happen today, and probably not going to happen tomorrow. But what is going to happen tomorrow is we're going to wake up, and we're going to have a great, extraordinary day. And whatever you do tomorrow, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.